Peggy 16. EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, AJ? Back here at E3 2012. I'm sitting here talking NHL 13 with Richards for the NHL franchise. And of course, Sean Ramjack seeing AKA. You're the line producer for NHL 13. Uh, we're talking about the new skating mechanic. People have seen the trailers, but you guys are showing it on the show floor this week. Tell us what it is. Well, I mean, for us, the NHL team is always committed to innovation and the authenticity of the sport. And what you'll see on the show floor is the biggest change since the introduction of the skill stick in NHL 07. And for us, that is a whole new physics-based driven skating system called True Performance Skating. So True Performance Skating obviously looks good and we're gonna see that here in a second, but how does it actually affect gameplay or does it? Well, absolutely. It, not only does it look great, we've added over a thousand animations, but it feels and plays great. And what we're trying to do is capture the true flow of today's NHL. And that's really around three things. The first one being explosiveness, the top end speed, and really momentum, um, what players display out there on the ice. Okay, so what does that mean for the, for the casual hockey fan? What does that mean? Well, explosiveness is really how quick you can go from a stationary state or a gliding state and with a quick burst of speed. Um, so that's really your acceleration, that quick first step. Uh, for the sure. top end speed, it's really about that breakneck speed. Uh, hockey is the fastest team sport on the planet, and we really want to capture that out in our in our game. And for the last bit is really around momentum. This is really where the physics kicks in. It is when you are going at top speed and you want to make a quick turn. Well, you're not going to be able to do that quick 90 degree turn. You're going right. to have momentum carry you. And it's really around that management of momentum, whether you're going forwards or backwards, whether you're stopping or starting, it's managing that whether you're going to be in the play or completely taken out of the play. And all this works with the uh, already established skill stick, correct? Absolutely. And so when you have the skill stick and you have true performance skating, it really is a top to bottom uh, tool set that each NHL player of today has in his arsenal and we are giving you that to have that creativity out there on the ice. All right, Rammer, I think everybody wants to see the game. Okay, Rammer, real NHL teams don't play. The deepest, the most innovative and authentic experience we delivered on this generation of console. So pay attention to stamp goes here, both from a standstill and out of a glide. So you see him taking off there, no real sense of explosion. Now you see him going with the glide and again, accelerating out of that, but no real burst, no real sense of trying to explode to a spot. I see where I want to go and try to get there. Mm -hmm. Let's compare that now to NHL 13. Same thing, look at Stamkos here from stationary. Watch what it looks like. Watch the way he's able to accelerate quickly with the explosive first step. And then watch when I go into the glide to the neutral zone. I see the defenseman coming over to hit me and I explode again out of that. I'm gonna take Stamkos and I'm gonna just push up on the left stick and I wanna show you what top end speed looks like. We saw top end speed in NHL 12. Two hands on the stick, just skating up ice. I wanna show you what top end speed looks like in NHL 13. And again, this is just with the left stick, pushing up, watch Stamkos. Explosion, skating up ice, goes into that one hand, and he's gone. We're not just putting a turbo button, we want there to be a risk reward, we want there to be a gameplay mechanic tied mm -hmm. to the new speed that we're adding. So let's go back into 12 real quick. So here you see Stamkos going full speed, get to the dot, try and cut in. He's basically able to turn on a dime, turn 90 degrees, mm -hmm. speed doesn't factor in, momentum doesn't factor in, physics doesn't factor into that. A lot of guys probably scored many goals that way too last year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, NHL 12 was uh, a game of cat and mouse. You basically try and get out of sync with the defenseman uh, because everyone moved at the exact same speed. So NHL 13, again, we want to get that top end speed, but have it, you know, real, uh, following real world physics, following momentum and all the laws of physics and everything that applies with that stuff. So here you'll see Stamkos going full speed again down the lane. When I get to the dot, I'm going to try and cut in and we'll see what happens here. So there's Stamkos striding out. I get to the dot, I go to cut in. Oh. And actually, <laughs> look what happened right there. So, uh, let's go to replay real quick. So you see Stamkos going top end speed. I'm actually going to go zoom in here on his skates. Watch he coming down the alley, striding down. He gets to the dot, wants to cut in. And at this point here, we want to give feedback to you. We want to give feedback that you're working against the laws of physics, working, working against your momentum. My controller is actually starting to rumble here. And actually, if you zoom in on the skate, as he comes around the corner, you can see that right leg starting to carve in there almost like Just drifting in a catch car a, catch a grip and in this case he actually i actually uh, tried cutting back too hard against my momentum and I actually end up losing an edge so i've you done think that about, many times in real yeah. life <laughs> so you think about that in real gameplay you're trying to cut hard against your momentum uh trying to get a step on the d-man get to the front of the net you know that this is, it's 50 50 whether or not you're going to make it d-man gets a little piece of you 
you're off balance, you can knock you over. And it's nice to have that feedback too from the controller telling you, okay, this, you're really going against the laws of physics here trying to make this cut. Absolutely, yeah, and that's, you know, that's, that's what we wanted to do. We want to give users feedback so that you had a sense of feeling the ice. Feel when you're doing things against the laws of physics, feel when you're going against your momentum. Just really getting a sense of being grounded to the ice and a sense of weight and momentum in our skating. Very cool. All right, Rammer, so you've talked about explosiveness, top-end speed, and momentum so far in NHL 13. What else? Creativity is the next big part for us. So as Dean mentioned, we have over a thousand new animations driving the true performance skating. Um, you know, at NHL 07, we innovated by giving you the tools to create with the, with the right stick mm -hmm. um, and the skill stick. So, you know, we pushed our skating system as far as we could over the past four or five years. Um, but for us to take the next big leap uh, with our gameplay, we needed to innovate with the lower half of the body, with our skating. So uh, what you see here is over a thousand new animations. I'm going to show you NHL 12 first though, just so you see the AB comparison once again of what it looks like. And look at how bad the transitions are just doing this figure eight move motion right here. Um, you know, the, the blades aren't respecting the ice, players are just floating around, doing what mm -hmm. they want, and uh, just the animation just doesn't match up with uh, the motion of where the player wants to go. Compare that to 13, you know, we want to give the user tools with the lower body. You can combine that with the skill stick of the upper body and just allow them to create new stuff. Every single day playing the game right now, we're seeing people on our dev team do new things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty exciting. It's, you know, something that we started to experience for the first time in 07 with the skill stick. So for us to be seeing that same stuff again, we can't wait for this to get in the hands of our users and see what kind of videos they upload. Guys, playing the game since 1992-93, uh, I can say that this is definitely the biggest leap since 07 in the NHL franchise. Big fan, it looks really good. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, we feel the same way. It's a huge leap for us. I mean, we've we've changed a lot of things in the game with true performance skating and the EA Sports Hockey IQ, and we can't wait for people to start to play it on the show floor. All right, so check it out on the show floor if you're at E3. Uh, for more E3 coverage on NHL 13, be sure to check us out at easports.com slash E3.